Next up, I'm going to plane the faces and the top edge of the feet. There are cathedrals on here, so that should tell me, well, it does tell me that, that there is a grain direction I need to go, and I can just, by looking at the edge here, I can tell the grain's coming like that, so I want to go this direction. I uh, want to get that just, just tight enough to hold the material in place, make sure that's flat against the bench, and then I'm just going to take enough passes to get these parts nice and smooth. I just sharpened my plane so it's really cutting, cutting nicely right now. So that's nice and smooth. You can hear that little snap when I hit there. When you tighten up against these dogs, it raises the board just a little bit. So I want to make sure I'm flat against the bench there. So the first pass or two, you can actually hear a little bit of a buzzing sound because I'm removing the chatter marks from the planer or jointer. Do the, the top edge. And normally I would not use a smoothing plane for this, but I've, I've got it out. Um, I don't really have a place to put my thumb on here. I could put it here. I'm going to put it right there. So there's my shaving, that looks pretty good. I want to make sure I'm square. That looks good. So I'll continue doing that for the rest of these uh, parts. Next up, I'm going to cut the angles on the ends of the feet. So this angle looks nice at 22 and a half, and part of the reason I'm using that number is because that is one of the detents on the chop saw. Now when I make this cut, I basically want to come right through that corner or just miss that corner. And so the easiest way to do that is to set up a zero clearance backer for this. So I'm going to set that there and then put a little, little tape on here to hold it in place. And then I'll just make a cut there. So now I can line that corner up right there. I want to make sure that the mortise is that way, right? That's the top. So I'll make all those cuts first and then I'll set a stop at the other end for the rest of the cuts. So while I'm here, I need to cut a wedge that I can use later on the shooting board. So I've got a piece of plywood here, maybe five inches wide or so, and I'm just going to cut the end of it off. So I can use this wedge now on my shooting board to shoot the ends of the, uh, the feet there. Alright, so I've got my wedge. So I can use that like that and I've got the ends that were cut on the chop saw. They look pretty good but we can make them better. So I get some nice end grain shavings there and that looks fantastic. The next step is to lay out the feet will say on the foot part and that that means I, I really want two points of contact on here I don't want this straight because if it hits a high spot on the floor it'll rock so I want to relieve this area from here to here 
not that critical how far you come in to start. I, I'm going to go, this is set at about two and five sixteenths, two and a quarter, two and a half, somewhere in that range is going to look fine. So I'll do that. And then I want to come up a quarter of an inch. And once again, this isn't critical. I think I'll use my compass here to uh, draw this. I'm going to pull the pencil up little bit and then I can use the side of that as a uh, like a scribe all right to the bandsaw I'm at the router table now and I've got a three-quarter inch straight bit in here uh, it, it is actually a pattern bit there's a bearing down there but I'm not using the bearing so any uh, any uh, straight bit will work three quarters or bigger um, that's going to give us a radius right here so uh, I'm going to be running this up against the fence so I need to move the fence so that the the carbide cuts about a quarter inch deep. That's what I had set earlier. So I'm going to set the fence so it's at a quarter of an inch depth of cut. That looks pretty good. Just verify that. That looks fine. Okay, and then what I want to do, I want to start in the correct location. <clears throat> and then move across the board. Now I don't I don't want to finish at this end because I'm going to get tear out there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start here, go to some point, and then flip the board over. Now I want to, I want to be consistent where I start. So that's right at my line there. So I'm going to set a stop here. So I'm always starting in the same location. The last thing we need to do to the feet is, is cut this angle on either side. I want to start that cut a little ways out from the leg. So I'm going to set the leg on here. So it's going to come out to about there. I'm going to come out, I don't know, I'm just eyeballing this, about three-eighths of an inch past the edge of the leg there. So we'll assume we're going to start there and angle down. I need to see that there. And... We need to come up with a, a number here. I, I measured the one I made previously, so this, this height at the outer edge is uh, two and an eighth. I mean, this is just an aesthetic decision, so I'm just going to use what I used before. So I'll make a mark there and a mark there. And then uh, I'll set this. So I can come in the same distance from, from either side. So I'll go cut this on the bandsaw. I'm getting close to the line and then I'll, I'll plane down to the line. Then I'm going to use, once this one is set, I'll use this one to mark the other ones. Okay, back from the bandsaw. So I've got this clamped in here so it's relatively horizontal. I'm going to use my uh, number five plane to plane this. Uh, because this is a fairly short distance and it might be a little tricky to hold the plane flat because I've got a bandsaw on surface here, it's better to have this little longer uh, 
toe than, than on the, uh, the smoothing plane. That might be a little heavy. Now I want to watch this line here. Be because this is a very shallow angle to this, if I get out of square, the the line that indicates this the intersection of this surface and this surface uh, if this gets out of square this will get out of square much more quickly so if I kind of watch that line here I'm just going to put some pencil lines on there I won't do this every time but just maybe to show how that works So I can see it's it's a little bit angled that way, so I need to take more off of, of this side. So I'll move the plane that way a little bit. There we go, that's squared up. So I'm watching over here, I can see my line. I'm pretty much even to my line. It's not like I need to take more off of one end or the other. Okay, that looks great. Done the whole surface. I can just barely see my line there. Maybe another pass or two. Okay, that looks good. I'll do the other side. Okay, that looks good. I'm right, right there. There, just took it off. Okay, so I'll use this one to mark the other ones and I'll, I'll do the same process for those.